when you start at medical school, one of the earliest diagnostic tools you'll come across is a blood pressure monitor. And these are festooned with various markers on them. The first one that we need to pay attention to is the index marker. This is a white bar running the width of the blood pressure cuff. And we use it to help determine have we got the right size cuff. So we're going to initially put that white marker between the antecubital fossa and the shoulder. The blood pressure cuff should have a width that covers two thirds of the weight up the arm. That's to ensure that we're going to squash sufficient of the brachial artery to be able to measure the blood pressure. The next, we have a width gauge, which we're going to connect again with the index marker. When we put the blood pressure cuff around the patient's arm, the index marker should line up somewhere in this range. If it is outside of the range, because the cuff is too big, then the blood pressure will read artificially low. Conversely, if the marker is outside of this range, it shows the cuff is too small, and then we're going to read a blood pressure that is artificially raised. And this is the reason why we have different sized blood pressure cuffs for different sized individuals. First off, if you use a blood pressure cuff that's too small on a patient, it's going to be more uncomfortable, hence why it needs to cover two thirds of the patient's arm. But also, if we use a blood pressure cuff too small, we're going to cause an artificially raised blood pressure, which might mean the patient is put to harm by unnecessary testing with a blood pressure that actually could be normal. So that's one of the first diagnostic tools you get at medical school. Very easy to understand when you know what's going on and helping you choose the correct one for your patient. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.